Hey guys, no video for our Wheels in Japan playlist and our mini series on crazy drivers in Japan. Can't show you a crazy drivers video without showing you people on the phone. That's the thing we see every day. Funny thing is too, whenever we video these guys, they never notice. Big red camera being held out the window of the car. Nobody notices because they're so absorbed in their phone activities. So probably the one that gets us the most emotional as far as the crazy stuff is this stuff, is the kids just wandering free in the cars. Really, really common. Not a day goes by we don't see this. So the kids just sort of wander around the car. They climb up over the back. One of the most popular places for the kids is between the two front seats. You know, right between the two front seats, talking to mum and dad as they drive along. That's scary, isn't it? That's really scary. Really, really super common. Here's another one. Pretty common in these big cars. They seem to think they're pretty safe in the big car, so they just let the kids sort of wander free. Not everybody, but, but lots and lots and lots of people do it. Just let the kids wander around the car, climb over the back seat, climb over the front seat. Look at that one's about two years old, three years old. Really irresponsible, isn't it? It really bothers us, that one, because we know, you know, kids die because of that sort of behaviour. And here's the thing, we've showed you this before, the police have stopped this truck driver for going through a red light, you know, which we're always happy about. <laughs> but look where they stopped him, it's pouring with rain, they've actually blocked off the lane, there's, there's one lane going away from us there, two lanes coming towards us. So what that means is the cars behind that truck have to stop, they can't go past, there's nowhere to go past, until there isn't a car coming. So once these cars that are coming the other way go past, then they'll actually go onto the wrong side of the road to get past that police car. Look, wrong side of the road and then back onto the right side of the road again. No idea why they do that. There's a, a big drugstore on the left. There's a convenience store on the right. They could get the truck to pull into either of those places, but they don't. They just stop them in the middle of the road, just get out, and they'll sit there for half an hour faffing around with their paperwork and stuff. In the meantime, in the pouring rain, everybody's sort of got to go around them and onto the wrong side of the road. And don't, Just don't understand that one. It's so illogical. But it's just what they do. So what happens when the crazy people that drive too close to each other in the rain... The truck bumps into the back of this little car. Now, hardly any damage at all, but it's enough that they've got to make a big deal about it and the police have got to come and everything. Amazing it doesn't happen more often because, we, as we showed you, they always all drive around too close to each other. Here's two more. So, as some of you might have noticed, it's been raining every day the last couple of weeks in Japan and we've been hearing sirens every day. Every day, because they all drive too close to each other, too fast, they're staring at their phones, and oh dear, oh dear, boof, and they bounce off each other. So there goes, that's the traffic investigation police car that just went past, and then this one came past with his sirens blaring to go to that little accident we just saw, that, you know, you couldn't even see the damage. But they make a really big fuss, any sort of damage at all, even a little scratch and roaring sirens and police cars. Same scene, same accident scene. This is another police car turning up. So you've got on the far right, you've got a police car and then you've got the accident investigation cars, that van that you can see in the middle of the screen. And this little police car turned up to assist. So the end result was three police cars and yet, if you look at the two vehicles that were actually in the accident, there's no sign of damage. There must be damage that we can't see, but it seems one ran into the back of the other, which has probably left a scratch on the bumper or something. And there's three police cars. And again, instead of getting them to stop around the corner, they just block off the road, put the cones out in the middle of the road, block off half the road, and they'll faff around there investigating that for half an hour at least. Anyway, that was it. More videos coming soon.